Brittany in France is renowned for its stunning coastline and that's exactly where I am today and as you can see sailing is a very popular thing to do here. Well today I'm about to get a very hands-on experience of doing just that as we head off to the beautiful little island of Brea. Welcome on board. Thank you. Merci. First, we caught up with the captain of Bollet Traditions as he tells us about the boat. It's an old fashioned uh, fishing boat. Uh, we used to use it for lobsters, catching lobsters. And uh, now we use it actually. Uh, for, for traveling with the tourists and let them know how we used to work with it before and um, they, they can help us as well to, to, to help the rope. I was doing that today and it is hard work so can all tourists get hands on and hoist the sail when they're taking this trip? No, actually on this boat it's really easy because oh. it's a light boat. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think it was easy at all. My hands are sore already. Um, so, Gerald, tell us, we're going to Brea today. Why is that place so popular with tourists? Oh, because uh, it's really sunny, uh, more sunny than the other side on the earth. And uh, it's warmer as well. So we, uh, we've got there a lot of blossom flowers oh. and, and different, uh, many different varieties. After a lovely morning sailing, it was time to explore the beautiful island of Brea. But before I did that, Julianne filled me in on everything it had to offer. Interestingly, it has its own microclimate. So as we saw coming up, uh, all these incredible wildflowers are in bloom and they're around the houses. It really is one of the most idyllic islands I think I've ever been on. Really, really beautiful. And behind us there, you'll see the water mill. Um, and then literally in front of us is the 19th century church. It is really stunning. So, I mean, there's lots to do if you like walking. You can just simply come here and wander around the island. It's a beautiful day trip. <laughs> So after our relaxing morning, it was time to pick up the pace as Julianne and I tried our hand at water sports. So Peter, we're just in from the water and clearly I have fallen in as I'm soaking wet. Um, we did paddle boarding and Hawaiian pirogue. Can you explain what Hawaiian pirogue is? Uh, it's a different way to discover the landscape. Uh, it's a big boat. Uh, yeah, we can go uh, four per pirogue. It's very easy, uh, family, group, beginners. Um, so it's a very good uh, activity to discover this place. Okay, well, myself and Julianne are clearly not pros as we fell in more than once. Um, can you tell me, do you have to be, you know, have a good level of water sports to come here in Brittany and try out different things? No, because um, you can go for a ride every time uh, because the wind, we can go behind the rocks. Uh, so we can go everywhere and every time with, with a lot of wind. Today, there is a lot of wind. And uh, it was the paradise behind. So it's very, very, very good for beginners. So anyone can try it. Anyone who comes on holiday to Brittany can try the different things. Is Brittany a place for water sports in particular? Yes, because many islands here on the Gulf and at the ocean with waves. So yes, you can do every, every activities. So today we did paddle boarding and uh, Hawaiian Prog, as I yeah. said. What else do you have on offer here? Oh, you can do kayak, uh, kayaking. You can do kayaking on the waves. Mm -hmm. and you can do rafting. So you've seen lots of people come here and try different types of water sports. How bad were me and Julianne? Oh, good, very really? good. Because <laughs> after five minutes, you stay relax, then you move, uh, no problem. Really. And then we fell in. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> We 
travel to Brittany with Brittany Ferries from Cork to Roscoff. For full details on crossings, check out brittanyferries.ie and for further information on any of the places we visited, check out brittanytourism.com.